In this section, we're going to look at how to export from Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. Now, Adobe has a great thing which is called Adobe Media Encoder, and that comes bundled with the CS collections. Now, you can actually export two ways. You can go via the interface, and you can also go via the Adobe Media Encoder. What we first need to do is install the presets which are provided for you on www.delivercommercials.com in the download sections Adobe Media Encoder. Once you've downloaded them and unzipped them, let's now export. So file, export, media, and then this is quite interesting. So up in the format section, you need to be on MPEG-2, not Blu-ray or DVD. These are going to be non-422 functions. So we need to be on MPEG-2, come over to your folder, and now we're going to import the presets. In this case, we're just going to do a 16x9 SD. I've given you the DG settings for MPEG-2, 422, upper field, 4x3 for the SD. MPEG-422, 16x9 SD for NTSC. There's not much use for it, but you might be able to use it on other carriers. There's also the MPEG-2, 422, 100i for NTSC and PAL. And the UK versions of 422, 50i of 4x3 and 16x9 respectively for SD. So I'm going to load this SD1 into here and click open and you can name it whatever you wish and then once it's done I click OK. In this drop down it will always be here now so if I want to add other ones I can go and add them straight away. You will notice down here we have DG Fast Channel 480 and 512. These are actually incorrect. The 512 will actually letterbox your commercials and not give it the true 32 line VBI. The 480 I found was lower, but all the literature that DG provide says it needs to be upper. So the MPEG-422 SD NTSC ones that I've provided for you will be correct. Now, Adobe Media Encoder cannot create the 608 or the 512 correct files as requested. What it can do is do the 720 by 576 or the 720 by 480 or 486, and you can ask your supplier if that's sufficient. You can now go down to your export and that will export to the desired area that you've asked the Adobe Media Encoder to do it. Now the second way, which I find a lot better, is that if you hide Adobe Premiere Pro, take your project and drag it into Adobe Media Encoder. This will then read the project file and then locate the sequences which you wish to export out. This also works with After Effects compositions, which is absolutely brilliant because it frees up the machine. Once you're ready, click OK. Make sure that you're on the MPEG-2, not the Blu-ray or the DVD, but the generic MPEG-2. And then pull this down and you will see the project setting that we've given you. Now navigate to wherever you wish to save it to, which is the desktop. Once you're done, you can click the Go and that's going to transcode in the background. You can then go back to your Premiere Pro and keep editing.